Welcome back to our community at Secret Mermaid Stuff, where I, Kayan, am here to help you relax and to wake your dreams. It's time, isn't it? So I'm going to do a card pull today, and we're going to see what the messages are that are coming through. I've been doing readings all morning, and my gosh, the support that is here right now that is pouring into our earth realm from higher realms. The help is here for you. And if you resonate with my energy, I've got special readings that you can book for next week. I'll get you in. If there's a special edge of transition you're trying to make. Let's make it happen for you. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? And as I felt the energy of 2023 coming in. A lot of different energies were speaking to me. And one of them is it's so important for you to center. So do you have in place those things in your life that center you? Say somebody that you read with who can see the places that, you know, we all have blind spots that you need to see to encourage you. And when you come to center, whether it's almost as if you're coming into the eye of a hurricane with whatever's going on in your life, there is great courage and frequency available to you beneath the pain of, of what's playing out in the 3D realm. So let's get to the card pull. And when you're listening to this on replay, because we are infinite, right? One of my mermaid messages here is that we're walking in two worlds. We're in the world. We're not of it. We're finite and infinite. And so even though this is on replay, I have asked divine love to show me what and who will show up and what the message is for you. So the first deck I am going to choose from is one I often start readings with. It's a dragon deck. And there are so many... Um, angels in the other realms, angels that are animals, angels that are um, those realms that receded once humans came more into the time that is the time of humanity on earth, you know, the, the elves and the dragons and the mermaids and the fairies. So let me know in the comments what, which of those magical tribes you most relate to. You know me, it's mermaid. So, um, but here's some dragon because you know, all of us need protection in our life. All of us need to call forth the roar and to move into what's new with this courage. So, all right. The dragon that wants to give you the energetic transmission is a gold and silver violet flame dragon. Let me just show you. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Gold and silver violet. So you've got the gold, the violet, and the silver. And this morning, one of the readings, the violet was really coming in strong. So maybe that rings true for you, the violet flame, the protection, the wisdom. This dragon is here to help you transmute the old around you with wisdom and grace. It's time for magic transmutation and healing. Yes. That really, really resonates. There's so much that we can transmute. That's why we come to this earth realm. We come because, you know, I like to say we're beyond this paradigm that we so get caught in where we're surviving, where we're fighting or flighting it. And you know what? It's already won. In divine love, it's already won. So you've, you've come here to experience something and to take on this like yin-yang um, dualistic thing and transmute and lift even more into the realm of love because we all get lost and found and so whatever reasons you dip down into your life to do I am just sending you this beautiful gold and silver violet flame dragon to help you all right the next deck is a very straightforward one it's Louise Hay it's just a kind of duck that's like, I can do something. So, all right. 
All right, the card. This is interesting. This is another message that's been coming, coming from all directions. One of my dear soul sisters on Facebook even posted that um, she's grateful I'm a seester. <laughs> S-E-E-S-T, -E -E, yeah. So the card that I picked is I see. And, you know, I'm amazed when I do a reading with someone and I tune in from a place of soul, not ego, and I get the messages from the ancestors and the animal totems and the angels. Oh, my gosh, Archangel Michael came into one reading, and it was just extraordinary just to feel that transmission of energy and... Again, I just feel like saying over and over, you are so supported. So if you don't feel it, go within to give it to yourself and then find around you what you can trust and turn to. The message in this card is, I see the world through eyes of love and acceptance. All is well in my world. Let's say that together. All is well in my world. All is well in my world. All. And just make like a, make a like all, all is well in my world. And sometimes when I pray and I call things in, it's just really good to get the whole body involved with that, to call it in with your breath, with your everything, with every cell in your salt water soul, as I like to say. So here's the prayer on the other side. It's a gift that keeps giving. <laughs> I am loved and accepted exactly as I am right here and right now. One more time. I am loved and accepted exactly as I am right here and right now. Doesn't that feel like a homecoming? Doesn't that feel like to give yourself self-acceptance is one of the most powerful ways to welcome and bring in abundance. The other is gratitude magic, but you know, if you can give yourself self-acceptance and stop vibing with all the you know, shame and fear, it's good to be with that so you can clear it. But then ah, get back to that I am, get back to the right here, right now. All right, and let's go to tarot. I've been reading tarot for over 30 years, and it really, in, a, in an hour reading, when I do a Celtic cross, or it's like a life path, you know, it's like the huge overview so fun so fun and so um often you can just feel the energy changing during the reading so reading tarot is a whole another level of um oracle and i'm happy to bring that to you and i would love to work with you so all right the card oh, <laughs> oh. the card that i chose is the lovers you know we are going we are headed towards Valentine's, but one of the things I know and I'm focusing on is just be in that love energy, be in that love frequency where you're already in love with life, where you're already filled with wonder, where you're the person who doesn't hurry too much to get out of the rain, but you dance in it. So how can you be in love with your life? And if you're listening to this and wondering about will this old nudge that's coming back in mercury retrograde time is this person who's reaching out to me the one or is is there something coming and you are a lover this reading i've been picking up i've been a lot, a lot of the readings have been about people at last finding their true love so it's possible right here right now the lover's card so if you needed to hear that that encouragement Thank you so much for being a part of this internet temple, for doing the way of water in your life, for saying, I am well on my, one of my mantras I like to say is, I am well on my way. And you know, well is a deep pool of water. And so for you to be in that, or for you to play with language in a way where you might be feeling ill, but then whew, add a little bit of beauty to it, and it becomes illumination. So I'm here as your mermaid who believes in your dreams, and I'm here to cheer you on as you wake them and to read for you if you wish and have a mermaid rest of your day.